So today's video is another video in the Hachette Disney Crochet Granny Square Blanket series and today we are moving on, or swiftly on, to the Jungle Book White Flower Square. Now this is issue 69, we're making this square just here and we need five different colour yarns for this square. We are using a brick red, we're using sunflower, we are using coral, we're using vanilla and we're using white. Now for this one, as the name suggests with the white flower square, we are using the white for the petals of the flower as well as the border for around the square. So it looks like we're starting off with the sunflower. So if you go ahead, grab your sunflower yarn, let's just get straight into it. So we're starting off this square with our sunflower yarn as I just said and we're starting off with a slip knot on our hook and we then need to chain six. So there's one, two, three, four, five and six. We then need to do a slip stitch into the first chain that we made right back here. So count back six, one, two, three, four, five and six. This is your first. Go in through that one, pull up a loop, pull it through the loop on your hook and you've done your foundation ring. We're now going to chain one and we then need to do the double crochet stitch into the ring. So pinch both sides and pull it apart to find your centre. Go in through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. I'll show you again, go in through the centre, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. If you do that as many times as it says you need to do the DCs under round one in the magazine, I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I've done as many double crochets as it says we need to do under round one. And when you come to the end of the round, you just simply need to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you did. So it will be that first V. So go in through that one, pull up a loop, pull it through the loop that's on your hook and you can now fasten off your sunflower yarn. For the next round, round two, we will be working with yarn B, which is the vanilla, and you just join it to any one of your stitches going around. So I've joined my vanilla yarn to one of my stitches. I'm just going to get that one on my hook. And once you've done that, you need to chain two. One and two. We then want to do a treble into the same stitch, so yarn over and go into the stitch that your yarn's coming out of. Pull up a loop so you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You then want to chain one and now we're doing a repeat of a treble two cluster and then one chain and we're going to keep going with that all the way around. So yarn over and into your next stitch, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two, yarn over into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three and chain one and repeat. So yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three and chain one. So if you repeat that going all the way around, it will tell you under round two how many clusters you should have at the end of the round and I'll meet you and show you where to go from there. So I've just done my last treble two cluster and you need to do your one chain afterwards to finish that one off. And then to finish this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first treble. So we're not going into any of our chain stitches. We're going into the first V at the top of that stitch just here. So go in through, pull up a loop, pull it through the loop that's on your hook and you can now go ahead and fasten off your vanilla yarn because we're going to be working with yarn C which is the white in round three and you can join it to any of your one chain spaces. So that's any of the spaces in between your clusters. So go ahead and do that and we'll get started on round three. So I've joined my white to a one chain space and I need to chain three. One, two and three. Then need to do two trebles into the same space that we joined the yarn to. So yarn over into the space, pull through two, pull through two. I've done one treble and one more into the same space. We now need to do 
three trebles in every one chain space going around. So yarn over and into your next, pull through two, pull through two, there's one, pull through two, pull through two, there's two, pull through two, pull through two, there's three. I'll do one more with you. So three trebles in this space, there's one, two, and three. If you do that going all the way around, I'll show you how to finish off the round. So I've gone all the way around with my three trebles into every space. And we now need to finish off with a slip stitch into the third chain from the start of the round. So we're going in that third chain, pulling up a loop, pulling it through the loop that's on our hook. We're not fastening off our white, we're sticking with that for round four. So you want to chain two, one and two. You then want to treble two together over the next two stitches. So this is basically the same as a treble two cluster, but we're going over two stitches rather than sticking in the same stitch. So yarn over and into your next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over again into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. You then need to chain three one two and three we're then doing treble three together into every set of three trebles that we did in the last round followed by a chain three so yarn over ready into your next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over into your next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four, and chain three, one, two, and three. Yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two, yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops and chain three. One, two and three. If you continue to do that all the way around, if you look under round four, it will tell you exactly how many of them you should have by the end of your round and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So once you've done your last three chains, we need to fasten off with a slip stitch in our first treble two together. So where we've got those or that, that triangular shape, it will be the stitch directly at the top. So if you go in through that one, pull up a loop and pull it through the loop that's on your hook, which I can't do right now. There we go. You can fasten off your white. We're working with yarn D, which is the coral in the next round, and you can join it to any of your three chain spaces. So I've got my coral in one of my three chain spaces and the first instruction of round five is to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We then need to crochet into the same space and we're going to be doing a double treble and two trebles into that same space. So yarn over twice for your double treble into that space and pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now two more trebles in that same space so yarn over, pull through two, pull through two and then one more treble, pull through two, pull through two. We now need to do four half trebles in each of the next two spaces. So yarn over and into your next space and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three and we've done one there's two, three, and four, and now four in the next space. One, two, three, and four. Into the next space, we need to do two trebles and two double trebles. So yarn over into the next space pull through two, pull through two, we've done one treble, one more, pull through two, pull through two, and now two double trebles, so yarn over twice, 
pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. We now need to chain three. One, two, and three. And in the next space will be two double trebles and two trebles. So yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and two trebles, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two, pull through two. And now we're starting off that pattern again with four half trebles in each of the next two spaces. So there's one, two, three, and four, and now four in the next. One, two, three, and four, and now to form our corners, two trebles, two double trebles into the next space, one treble, and two, two double trebles, so yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, chain three, one, two, and three, and it's two double trebles and two trebles into the next space. So there's one double treble, and now for my next, there's two, and now two trebles, one, and two, four half trebles in each of the next two spaces, one, two, three, and four, four in the next, one, two, three, and four, and now for another corner. So in the next space, I'm just going to move that white out the way. In the next space, it's two trebles and two double trebles. So one treble and two, now two double trebles, so yarn over twice. There's one and two, chain three. Next space, two double trebles, two trebles. There's one and two and two trebles. One and two. Four half trebles in each of the next two spaces. One, two, three and four in the next one is the same one two three and four and into the next space we need to do two trebles and two double trebles so there's one treble there's two no two double trebles so yarn over twice there's one, and my last one. So to finish off this round, we need to do three chains. One, two, and three. And we're finishing off with a slip stitch into the fourth chain. So count up four chains from the beginning. Go in your fourth, pull up a loop and pull it through. You can now fasten off your coral yarn. We're working with yarn E, which is the brick red for the next round, which is round six, and you can join it to any of your corner spaces. So my brick red is joined to one of my corners, and we need to chain three. One, two, and three. We then need to do a treble stitch into the corner. So yarn over and into the corner, pull through two, pull through two. 
We're going to be working with a treble stitch this round and we just need to do a treble in every stitch along. I can't tell you exactly how many there should be due to copyright, but if you do one in every stitch along, I will meet you at the corner and show you what to do from there, but I will do a couple with you. So yarn over and into your first stitch, pull through two, pull through two, into the next, pull through two, pull through two. So I've done two. I'm going to go all the way to the first corner and I'll meet you there and show you what to do from there. So once you get to your corners, it's two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So sticking with the same stitch, there's one and two, two chains, one and two and two more trebles, one and two. So remember it's a treble in every stitch along, it will tell you under round six exactly how many you should have. Your corners are two trebles, two chains, two trebles and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So once you get to the end of round six we need to do two trebles into the corner space. One and two. You then need to chain one and then do a double crochet into the third chain from the chains at the beginning. So go in through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. And for round seven, we're sticking with the brick red yarn. So you need to chain one and then do a double crochet into the corner space. So pull apart to find your gap, go in through, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. We're then doing a double crochet in every stitch along. Again, I can't tell you how many there should be, but I'll do a few with you. So go into your first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both, and there's one. Into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. We've done two. If you continue all the way along to your first corner, and I'll show you what you need to do from there. So I've reached my first corner of round seven. Into the corners, we're doing one double crochet, two chains and one double crochet. So go into your corner, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both, chain two, one and two, and one more double crochet. So remember, you're double crocheting all the way along. Your corners are one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm back at my first corner of round seven and into that corner you want to do one double crochet. We're then chaining two, one and two, and we need to do a slip stitch into our first double crochet from the beginning. Pull up a loop, pull it through the loop that's on your hook. You can now fasten off your brick red. We've only got the border left to do, so join your white yarn to any of your corner spaces and we'll go from there. So before I join my white yarn, I just want to say we're not joining it through that big gap just here because we've done another round since then. And though it's difficult to see because we did the smaller stitch of double crochets, there is a gap further up just in here and that's where you want to join your yarn to. So my yarn is in and on my hook and my square is a standard size. So I'm sticking with the pattern that's in the magazine. So we want to chain two, one and two. We're then doing a half treble in each of the next 10 stitches. And this is the standard pattern that we normally do. So yarn over and into your first, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three for your half treble. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We need to do two half trebles into the next stitch. So there's one in that stitch and another into the same. And now 11 singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10 and 11. So when you get to your corner, and remember it's that small space just above the bigger one, you're doing one half treble, two chains, one half treble. So into the corner, there's one half treble, two chains, and one half treble. So if you go all the way around, it's ten half trebles, two in the next, eleven half trebles, one half treble, two chains, one half treble in your corners, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So final corner of the square, one half treble into the corner space. You then need to chain two, one and two, and we're finishing off with a slip stitch into the second chain from the chains that we did at the beginning of the round. And you can now fasten off your white because we finished our square. And there you have it. There is your Jungle Book white flower square from issue 69. That again was something a bit different I felt and I was really worried at one point that this square was going to be absolutely huge because it felt like, especially with these big gaps here, it felt like it was turning into a lot bigger than how it actually turned out in the end. So I'm so thankful that it's come out basically the same size as the rest of the squares that I've done. I will say I think this one's a bit wobbly. I have stretched mine so it looks better on camera but it's tending to sort of curl up here and come out more on this side like that. So I stretched it out just to make it a nicer, more uniform square shape on camera. So it doesn't look like I've done it wrong basically. But that is something I just wanted to, to go ahead and say to you, look, this isn't how mine came out. I have stretched this into shape. So it looks nicer for you. What I'm basically trying to say is that if yours doesn't look like this, as soon as we get blocking these, that is going to completely change the shape. So don't worry too much if it is curling up or if it is a bit wobbly. But remember, we do need to darn in all these ends because this is one with another load of ends yet again. So I think my project for tonight might actually be to sit down with all of the squares that I've got, which is probably at least 40 of them, and to go and get all those ends done ready for when we put our next block of nine squares together. So as I said, this has been issue 69. Remember to leave the video a like if you're still following along with your subscription so I know how many people are still using the videos. If you need any help, just leave a comment. And if you want a notification for when the next video is posted, remember to hit subscribe and to then click the bell and you'll get a notification every time there's a new video out. So all that's left to say is have an absolutely wonderful week and I shall see you in the next video for issue 70. And I'll see you then. Bye.